Hope you're having a lovely day and you're searching for another recipe. This is the majestic cupcakery. Have I completely lost it yet? Probably. Yes, I have made a mise on toast cake. It was super fun to make, but also really weird at the same time. If you'd like to know how I created this, then keep on watching. So I started off with my basic vanilla cake that I've just cooked in a £2 loaf tin. This way it's already got more of a toast shape and it didn't involve too much carving to look like toast. I then cut it into quite thick strips, creating the slices for my toast. I did then cut these thick strips in half so later I could fill them with buttercream. At this point I did notice that my slices didn't look tall enough and I wanted them to be a bit bigger. So I ended up putting two together as you can see in the little video clip in the corner. Then going in with a layer of buttercream in between and adding the top layer of cake. I did this to both sides because cake isn't anything without a filling. Now it's all filled, I'm just pressing it down and making sure all the cake lines up where it wants to. Time for a quick crumb coat all over the cake. This doesn't need to be super neat just to lock in all of those little crumbs. Once you have it how you want it, go ahead and pop that in the fridge for half an hour, just to firm up and give the buttercream time to set. Once set, you're now ready to cover it in fondant. I'm using white and I've rolled it out fairly thin, then just gone ahead and drape that over the cake. You want to press it into all them creases to get the shape and around the edges to press out any air bubbles. Then just cut off any excess fondant from around the bottom of the cake. Now let's start to make it look a bit more like toast. I'm using this comb tool to create little bumps and textures to the top of the cake. If you look at a piece of bread closely you can see it's not smooth so give it a bit of something for the colour to cling on to later. You can smooth it out with your hands if it's a bit too bumpy. Then going in with this Dresden tool to mark out or draw on a crust for our cake toast. There's so many things I'm saying in this video that I thought I'd never say in a cake decorating tutorial, but there's always a first. Do this all the way around the cake wherever the crust would be. Going in with a shell end tool, I use this to give the crust a teeny bit more texture. Pulling bits up and creating little marks to the sides so they just start smooth and boring. Carry on all the way around the cake until you're happy. Now comes the fun part, we're going to start painting it. Because I don't know about you, but at the moment it isn't looking much like toast. It needs that golden tint and the slightly caught corners. So I have three colours, one is Wilton Ivory. One is Wilt and Gold Yellow and finally one is Sugar Flare Dark Brown. I also then have a clear alcohol to mix it with and create a painting consistency. I started off light with the ivory and steadily built it up with browns and yellows to create little patches of colour to make it look a bit more like toast. Play around with this and find what works for you. Shade until you're happy. To build more colour, make sure you let it dry before adding more then it will layer up better. I'm liking it like this so I'm going to leave it to dry. Now let's make those beans for the top. So I've got a little bit of fondant that I've dyed with some ivory. I'm just going to roll that into a ball then out into a sausage shape. Spreading your fingers wider will help you even out the roll. Then when it's about half a centimetre thick you're ready to cut it into pieces. I'm just chopping off the ends but I'm not sure why I did this, you don't really have to. Then just cutting into little tiny pieces all the way across. Grab one of the little pieces and you want to roll that into a ball then straight across to create that bean like shape. 
So again, into a ball, then roll over straight. Repeat this with all of your pieces, making as little or as many as you wish. They should look something like this by the end of it. Now I thought long and hard how I was going to create my sauce. I thought about piping gel, but decided it was too transparent, so decided on caramel. I added some red food gel to it to get that tomatoey colour. I made this earlier so it had a chance to cool completely. At this point it was a little bit too red and I wanted to tone it down slightly. So I added in some white edible tint, but if you have white food gel you could use that also. The white helps it lighten and by it being a bit lighter it kind of gives it an orange cast which makes it perfect for the sauce. Grab some of the beans you made earlier and drop them into the sauce. As many as you want, I did quite a few. Then just stir it around to coat all the little pieces. And this is how we make our sweet, non-savoury beans. The last thing you want to do is just spoon those beans all over your toast. I was having a mini freak at this point because it literally looks like I've got them out of a tin. and it looks savoury but it's all sugar, I'm totally mind blown. Place them wherever you want and take a step back to look at the weird but wonderful cake you've just created. Have fun with it and share with me cakes you've created that have been very unique. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you'll be doing me a massive favour and I'll see you all next time. Bye!